Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. Linux laptops, the thing everybody in the Linux community drools over. I don't think I'm the only one who's gone to System76's System Builder page, maxed out the specs of Ethelio, and then dreamed about owning one. Well, is it really worth it buying a system from a smaller Linux vendor than, let's say, Dell? Let's find out. So quick FYI, I will be focusing a lot on System76 because the laptop I got for my brother was a System76 Gazelle. That's the only company I really have experience with. Also keep in mind, I cover Pine64 products a lot, but this video does not apply for the Pinebook Pro as that's arm powered and kind of like comparing a Raspberry Pi 4 to a gaming PC. Other than that, let's dive straight into the fact that they run Linux. That's right, a Linux laptop vendor sells laptops that run Linux. What a surprise! This is pretty convenient if you're an avid Linux user, but to be honest, not really a selling factor because it takes 15 minutes to install Linux on basically any machine, unless of course you're talking Arch or Gentoo. On the other side though, getting a Linux laptop is a great way to support Linux as a whole financially. A lot of these vendors donate money to Linux projects, and some of them even have their own distros that they ship on their laptops. System76, for example, makes PopOS, which is one of my favorite distros, and to be honest, I think PopOS is far better than stock Ubuntu. Like seriously, even though I do not do distro reviews anymore, PopOS is great, and if you haven't tried it, this is probably the best beginner distro right now, and buying a laptop from System76 is a great way to fund it. Speaking of open source systems, let's talk about some of the open source features these laptops have. Many System76 and Purism laptops have support for Core Boot which is essentially an open source replacement for your BIOS. Some older ThinkPads support this too, but for the most part, if you want a modern laptop with updated specs that supports Core Boot or LibreBoot, you're going to have to go with a Linux laptop vendor. Another reason to get a Linux laptop is Intel Management Engine, or Intel ME for short, or I guess the lack of Intel Management Engine. If you don't know what Intel Management Engine is, or Intel ME for short, it's something that Intel started doing with their CPUs in 2008. This is a system that runs always when your computer is plugged in, even when your PC is off. And it has several known vulnerabilities and some people have suspected it to be a backdoor. Because of this, many privacy advocates do not like Intel ME. Luckily, Linux laptop vendors ship their Linux laptops with Intel Management Engine disabled which is a nice bonus because Intel ME is not that easy to disable by yourself. Another bonus of these laptops is repairability. I'm not sure about other companies, but I did some research on System76's repairability. They have documentation on how to repair their computers and will give schematics to anyone who asks for them. The Gazelle, which is again the laptop I got from my brother, can easily be opened up with a screwdriver and System76 has guides on their website on replacing several components. The principal engineer of System76, Jeremy Solar, was even on Lewis Rossman's channel promoting Right to Repair. That's dedication to me. However, let's say that you aren't that technical with hardware and do not know how to repair computers and don't want to try attempting. I understand that. I've stripped way too many screws in my lifetime, including on my Pine phone. Well, a lot of the time, these smaller laptop companies have very good customer support. We haven't had any issues that involve us needing to contact their customer support with my brother's laptop, but I do remember watching a review about the Gazelle that I watched before I bought the Gazelle that raved about its customer support. Now let's talk about one con people bring up with Linux laptops, which is price. A lot of people bring this up about Linux laptops, but I think it's a bit over-exaggerated just because they don't really have any budget options. If you're looking for a very cheap laptop, you might be out of luck, but if you have a good budget and you want something super spec'd out, some of these vendors might actually be better values. Purism is an example of a company that is not a good value. Right now, the Librem 14 is almost $1,500. To be fair, it does have privacy kill switches and a custom design for its chassis, but it does not have a dedicated GPU, which it should definitely have at $1,500. So that price seems unreasonable to me. Other ones though, like System76, are a lot more reasonable. As a matter of fact, sometimes they can even be better value than bigger OEMs. To bring up the Gazelle again, 
that is currently $1,400 right now. However, this laptop Alienware sells has almost identical spec and is actually almost $200 more. Keep in mind we are in the middle of a global chip shortage so that could affect my price comparison and also keep in mind that other OEMs are able to subsidize costs by pre-installing bloatware on Windows and economies of scale which makes parts cheaper when you are buying many more of them in bulk. So it's impressive that the Gazelle is at the price point where it is right now before it's sold out because of chip shortages. So overall, I think people hugely exaggerate the price problem Linux computers have. So again, if you're on a tight budget, maybe go for another laptop brand from a bigger OEM. But if you're in the market for a highly specced computer that can play games or do 3D modeling, video editing, stuff like that, Linux laptops can actually be a good candidate price-wise. So should you get a Linux laptop? Well, they give you a lot more freedom with an open source BIOS, an open source OS pre-installed obviously, repairability benefits, and it supports your favorite Linux projects financially. On top of that, since the price problem is very overly exaggerated, I think that it can actually be a good value for many technical people. Of course, do keep in mind these do run Linux, so if you don't know what Linux is, you probably want to stay on Windows. <laughs> but if you're a Linux enthusiast like me, getting a Linux laptop is a great option. So that's the video. Thanks for watching and thanks to my patrons who contribute $5 or more, including Frank, Marius Scripsguard, Pete Nostre, Jim Peter, Sam Covet, and Mitchell Vantino. Anyways, have a good one.